We don't treat all chronic total occlusions or long-standing occlusions of heart blood vessels. We treat these occlusions only when patient is symptomatic. So symptomatic means when they develop symptoms, you know, uh, while walking, that is during exertion, they might develop some chest pain or breathing difficulty. That is a usual symptom. So when that symptom is present, despite optical optimal medications, we tend to treat uh, or intervene, you know, those uh, long-standing occlusions. If patient is not symptomatic, then we try to assess how much of heart muscle is supplied by that blocked blood vessel. So by nuclear scan. So if there is more than 10% of heart muscle involved uh, with low blood flow under that uh, blood vessel, then it is reasonable to open such blood vessels. So for any patient, either of these two should be present to intervene. So then only we do a procedure. So and regarding options of interve uh, intervening these patients, uh, you have only two options. One is doing angioplasty, another is bypass surgery. Bypass surgery is generally considered only when patient has multiple blockages, a mul multiple vessel involvement, wherein we see some scoring like syntax scoring and where the score is more than 22. Uh, those are the situations you know where bypass surgery is considered. Otherwise, in rest of the situations where the single vessel is involved or two vessels are involved, so it is only angioplasty. So in angioplasty, again, success rate of these uh, blockages, these chronic total occlusions, varies from 50% uh, to 90 to 94%. So the success rate depends on operator, operator experience and you know availability of hardware and uh, you know overall center uh, uh, where the team is working. So uh, th these are the multiple factors you know which affect success rate and obviously it is better to do these kind of interventions in centers by operators with highest success rate because a failure is not just a failure in these uh, patients. Failure can also affect, you know, long-term outcomes of uh, these patients. So uh, that is the reason. So angioplasty is possible, and it is better to do in centers with uh, good success rate, uh, uh, good success rate of operator, and uh, you know, uh, lowest complication.